Hey, have you ever wondered what happened to this glass of water in outer space? Space is frigid, so obviously this would freeze, right? But you know what? Astronauts have actually observed liquids boil vigorously before freezing. It's really fascinating, right? There is no heat in space to boil a liquid. Can we boil a liquid? Like water without heating it? Why we even need to heat to boil water? Well, heat is energy being supplied to the water. Using this energy, water molecules drift sufficiently apart to rapidly go from liquid to vapor state. These form bubbles and there's vapor pressure in the bubbles. And these bubbles expand, rise to the surface and expel vapor into the atmosphere. Now note this, this bubble formation is affected by the atmosphere or the air around, let's say, the boiling system. The pressure of the air around us weighs down on the system and without heating, this prevents bubbles from being formed and water stays, well, liquid water. So for bubbles to form and water to boil, the vapor pressure inside the bubbles needs to overcome its rival, atmospheric pressure. But how? You see, by continuously heating the water, of course. This increases the vapor pressure inside of the bubbles. And when this becomes as strong as the atmospheric pressure, the bubbles form rapidly, expand and rise. And water escapes into the air as vapor. This is what boiling is, a ferocious struggle to form bubbles. If atmospheric pressure wins, the bubbles wouldn't form. And if vapor pressure wins, the bubbles will form and the liquid will boil. The minimum temperature, by the way, at which this phenomenon happens is called the boiling point of that liquid. Like for water at sea level under normal conditions, the boiling point is well, yes, 100 degrees Celsius. But what if I told you that water can boil below 100 degrees Celsius? And it happens almost every day. Say you climb Mount Everest and celebrate with some tea. The water in your teapot would be boiling, but the temperature would be about 70 degrees Celsius and not 100 degrees Celsius. Weird, right? But you can guess why. If you guessed, low atmospheric pressure. Pat yourself on the back because absolutely right. You see, the air becomes thinner as we go higher up and this causes atmospheric pressure to be lesser at higher altitudes. And under low atmospheric pressure, the liquid needs lesser vapor pressure to counter the atmospheric pressure, which means lesser heat and a lower temperature for boiling. And that's why the boiling point of water on top of a tall mountain like Everest, which is about 8,849 meters above sea level, is way below 100 degrees Celsius. And of course, the vice versa applies as well. At higher pressure, the temperature for boiling or the boiling point would be higher. Now, from what we've seen, boiling can occur either by increasing the vapor pressure or by reducing the atmospheric pressure. So if that's the case, what about when there is no atmospheric pressure? Well, here's an experiment to answer this question. Let me borrow a vacuum chamber with a glass of water placed inside of it. Now by pumping out air out of the sealed chamber, we reduce the pressure of air around the water. Right? Notice that there is no source of heating out here. As we get closer to zero air pressure inside the chamber, notice that the water in the glass starts boiling. You see, the water without heating has enough energy to create sufficient vapor pressure to counter its reduced air pressure outside. Isn't that so cool? Hey, by the way, you don't need all this fancy equipment to do this for yourself at home. Pick up a simple, say, syringe and fill it up to about a fifth. Whoosh. 
<laughs> Fill it up to about a fifth of water, right? And then plug the opening and very quickly pull the plunger. Ah, oh, did you see that? When I pull the plunger, you'll actually see water boiling on the inside. See those bubbles? Well, you've made a really cool boiling water without heating in a vacuum chamber experiment. <laughs> in the palms of your hands. And this is what will likely happen in outer space, which is essentially a vacuum with no pressure. Now, by now, you must be crystal clear. Boiling. You do understand what that is. But hey, here is a plot twist. The water in this vessel, do you see? Continues to boil away as long as it's being heated continuously. But check this out. If you look at the glass in the vacuum chamber, the water, which was boiling just a while ago, seems to have frozen over. Why do you think this happened? Well, share your ideas in comments down below. If you like this video and want more conceptually clear content every week, you know what to do. Download Baijus the Learning App and subscribe to our channel.